How you doing everybody? It's your boy Vic here and I'm bringing you the comparison of the King Hulk quarter scale statue. How you doing ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Vic here and as usual, everybody that knows me knows that I'm a Hulk fan. Big time old Hulk fan, okay? Now, the reality of this situation is his budget. Thank God for me that I am able to do payments on all these statues and it doesn't hurt me as bad as it should. Now, I got this statue from Sideshow uh, a few months back. It's a beautiful statue. No doubt, one of Sideshow's best. I really love the paint app. Everything about this statue is on the money. When I purchased it, I said to myself, you know, there's not going to be another Hulk statue that's going to beat this in a while, bro. I mean, really, I don't give a shit. They did the ECC one. They did the real hair on it, and a lot of people didn't like the hair and stuff. Plus, if you're looking for a comic book version, that would be the way to go is with these because, you know, the Hollywood version, the movie version is Mark Ruffalo for now. So um, I do have the Hulk maquette of Mark Ruffalo, but that'll be another video. But for now, let's do a comparison. Let's see how they size up with each other. And we're going to start off with the heads first, okay? Um, if you look at the head of this Hulk right here, you can tell that the Sideshow's Hulk head comes off because they were anticipating doing the switch out. I'm, I'm more than sure. But other than that, I don't know why they took it off. And um, the crown. So the crown goes all the way around and into the hair. Halima has the same deal. The crown goes around, but it goes all the way around the head, okay? Now, if you notice, this head doesn't come off, and it was supposed to, you know? In the, in the beginning, it was supposed to, but Jay decided, look, one head is needed because Gladiator Hulk isn't on the throne. It's the King Hulk, all right? And that would be a, a separate statue like Sideshow did. So, the head is really done well. And if you look at the massive body, it's at least two times the size of this Hulk. All right, two times the size. If you look at the proportions and everything, you can see that this Hulk here is massive. Um, now, let's start from the top because I want to give you the measurements and everything. This is from JCA and the crew at Hallimar, okay? So JCA and his crew have done an outstanding job on this. This is from the Gore Group of Sideshow, very famous group, made a lot of hits like, you know, Venom and stuff like that. So you know where, where they're coming from. So when you compare the two, you can see that the size is, is, is amazing, okay? Now, this one stands at 28 inches at the sword. I say about 27 inches because this is the highest point of the statue would be right here where the sword is at. So 27 inches high, and I believe it's 18. 19 by 14 to give you the, the a base area, you know, because it's not just about the base, it's the sword sticking out when you want to display it, so you have to be careful with that, all right? And this one weighs about 25 to 30 pounds, something like that, this statue. All right, now this one here with the flag, it's about 35 inches tall, 35 inches tall. <laughs> Just with this. Now, without the flag, say you, you, you can't display it because the flag is just really long or really tall. 25 inches right up here. Okay, 25 inches to the highest point of the throne. And the base is 19 by 19. Not a full square, but 19 by 19 inches wide depth, the whole nine yard, okay? Now with this piece here, uh, the arm comes off with the, with the axe, right? And the sword comes off, okay? Sword is for display purposes only. And, and this one, the sword comes off, the head comes off, and I believe the arm comes off, the hand right here comes off with the axe. The loincloth comes off, and you have those pieces and this piece of metal comes off of it too. Now, if you look at the base, it's just sheer destruction. As you can see that there's pipes and metal bars sticking out of it everywhere and stuff like if the concrete was ripped out. Very stunning visual effect on the base. A step, 
which is very common with sideshow pieces. They like doing the steps and stuff like that. But this one, the pose, is ridiculous. Beautiful statue, okay? So we got the, the sizes and everything taken care of. Now on this end here, when you get this in your, in your house and you get this box, okay? Let me just say this because when this came, it was a big box and it was like, hmm, pretty big. <laughs> when this one came, holy shit, Jay built a great styrofoam insert for it. He, he packed it very well. It got to me without a scratch. And this is from over there where he's from Singapore, I believe, to, to New York City. It got here in three weeks. <laughs> which was quick, man, you know what I'm saying? Because I was expecting it to be at least two to three months, three weeks, and I had my piece. I'm going to add this on the video. Thank you, JC, because this is a magnificent piece. Now, if you look at his loincloth, right in this area here, this is all sculpted, but it looks like leather, man. The straps on his chest, leather, right? The, the, the brown inside his arms and underneath here, I'm more than sure, it looks all like leather and it runs all the way to the back here beautiful piece man and uh, you look at the muscles uh, on his chest his stomach his thighs his arms his fingers everything is well proportioned for the statue you know the face is very nice now there was a crazy picture out there that made the face look really goofy and stuff and i think it was just too much flash and people started bugging and a few people sold their pieces behind that you know, so I didn't even flinch because I already knew what I was getting. Jay showed me the prototype and I knew that's the way it was going to come. So now, as you notice that this base is just destruction, but if you look at this base, it has destruction, but it has all the parts of, of, of all kinds of whatever. So you have the Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters here, and then you have other pieces from, I believe, the mansion. And this was basically ripped out. From the ground, um, I believe this was the Manhattan scene where they had uh, Iron Man and uh, Reed Richards fighting in the arena. You remember that in the stadium? It's in the books. You should, you should check it out. It's crazy. Uh, World War Hulk. This statue by far kicks ass on its own. All right. Now, when you compare it to Sideshow, I, I am not a person that says better than. I'm more as... Since I own them both, I got the best of both worlds. But man, let me tell you, if you can get your hands on this piece right here, you're not going to be disappointed, man, with the regular or with the exclusive. The exclusive comes 30 pieces. That's going to be the hard piece to find. But I think there's some regulars floating around. And I think that once those get picked up, you're not going to find them, man, because you would have to be nuts to sell this piece once you have it in your collection. Really, I mean, this is a centerpiece, all right? This is going to throw everybody back and be like, holy smokes, you know? So the guys at Hollymar Studio, Jay Sia, they did a fantastic job. I'm talking about with the sculpt, with the paint app, with the likeness of the portrait, which is always important, which some companies have problems doing, right? With the weaponry, with, with the throne itself, with the packaging, it's it's all 100% on the money. So guys, if you want to know more about this piece, all you have to do is go on Halima on Facebook and check out the other things he has. I'm gonna throw a few pictures of the work in progress, but this these pictures are from Louis C. Ramon. He's the one that took those pictures and I'm using those pictures so I can show it to you. So guys, check it out, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget to subscribe to Holly Ma because that's where it's at. It keeps you informed on upcoming projects. He has a beautiful Black Panther coming out. He has the Juggernaut uh, and Wolverine in the bar scene coming out. And the, the Juggernaut looks like it's massive. It looks like it's probably about this high, about 30 inches high. So um, you got to look at that one. And then the Archangel by Jeffrey Sia uh, Xiao, is it? Beautiful freaking guy. Uh, artwork is amazing. He's painted my Medusa head. He's, he, he does all kinds of paint apps on this, man. He's, he's a very brilliant guy. You know, all the guys at Hollywood and all the guys that do sideshow and do commission work, fantastic people over there. They're the best to deal with, you know. So if you're having a hard time looking for Jay, you can't get in contact with him, try to leave a message with Hollywood. So what can I say? I think that this was a great video because, you see, a lot of people don't know about the King Hulk on Throne because it's, a, it's basically a custom that I would like to liken 
to a very well-made custom, one of the better well-made customs I have. And I have a couple of customs in my collection. I even have another Hulk piece. Uh, this one, by far, knocks a lot of pieces out the box. This could be my grail. This may be my grail. Who knows, you know? So, guys, please check it out, man. Give me some comments. Let me know what you think. Any questions uh, about anything that you see on the video that happens to pertain to Halima, give JC a call at Halima, you know, on Facebook. And um, check them out, man. You can't hurt. Good prices. He lets you do payments, all right? So, it's your boy Vic here saying thank you so much for checking out my channel. I want to say peace out to everyone that subscribed and that's ready to subscribe because i know you guys are ready to push that button so thank you so much don't forget to comment don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe my peeps all right it's your boy vic and shout out to holly mom peace out